I wonder why they walked away from you to walk back and pick you up. Because pre- he was expecting the other guy to do it. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> right, I'll go do it. <laughs> So, okay, so, <laughs> so we're now on a pirate ship, I imagine, or some shit. Yeah? Airship? Submarine. Kid, it's not jump. Yeah, of course it's an airship, it's not a fucking fantasy. <laughs> I don't want to tell you too much. <laughs> if I guess exactly what it is, you fucking tell me. Well, if it's story related, no. Yeah, yeah, if I'm like, hey guys, is that Jack's penis and that's why it didn't work? You're not going to tell me yes. Yeah, that's just penis. <laughs> why is it penis and didn't work? <laughs> His cock didn't work and that's why he couldn't be a fob. Right, whatever. Yeah, that's let's really swim. A day? <laughs> oh, where the goggles. I said Thank I you. don't understand. What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> hey, Put on the goggles and swim. You you understand me? Alright, I'll work. Man, it's like that time when oh, uh, Derek Cheetah got kidnapped by pirates and he had to be part of the cruise spear grid! Alright, so the game's gonna try to tell us how to do this. I'm going to be skipping through. So I'm going to explain this. Is this the level up system? Yes. Okay. There's no such thing as leveling up in this game. We uh, don't. We technically don't actually level up. What happens is we, we just choose abilities that give us more health and more damage and stuff. Exactly. Okay. And so as we move through the game, we move through Sphere Grid, and you move your character to get abilities as you activate the nodes as you oh, that's, go. That's cool. So it's yeah. just one big talent tree, basically. E exactly. But it's connected to every character. So everyone basically starts at a different corner of the spear grid. Okay. And so everyone has their scripted path to go through. So that But along the scripted path, there are ways you can jump over into someone else's path if you choose to. Okay, so it makes sense to actually level everybody else up because they'll all help each other out. Exactly. Okay, and that's then, interesting. And then not only that, so there's six characters that start in their own corner. Then there's one character who starts in the center, and he doesn't have a path. You pick where to send him. Ooh, okay. So what you can what you can do is you can end up moving him through like a bunch of different people's paths, doing a bunch of different stuff. Go, okay, camera, come into here. Then we're gonna bounce into here. Let's jump, grab some skills from this person. I like your stats, so we're gonna move into your stat tree for a little bit. Okay, this is really interesting. I like it a lot personally. It's definitely mixing it up. It's both complex and not complex. It seems pretty graspable, uh, but can be intimidating by just looking at it, yeah. you know? It's like, if you're like, oh, wow, I want to jump really, like, go really like, in-depth into it, you can just be like, all right, I'm just going to follow everyone's path, or you can be like, okay, I'm going to follow this path, or do this. Like, there's something I'm going to do later, which, unfortunately, if I do it the way I mean to, it's going to make one of our characters obsolete. <laughs> is, it, what, is it the cool lady with the fuzzy ruffles? Cool lady. Lulu? I guess Lulu. Black dress? Yeah. Um, is she the one who's going to be obsolete or also? Yeah, is she the one who's going to be obsolete? Yes. Oh, That was the one person I didn't want to be obsolete. It's another character. Why couldn't you make the chicken man obsolete? The guy with the orange hair and the Waka. big dumb pants. Because his design's dumb and I don't like him. I like Waka. His name's Waka? Yeah. I'm going to call him Waka Flocka Flame now. We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should be some Are we gonna go like plunder power. Atlantis? Kind We're of. gonna go down there and activate it. Okay. And then Wait a second. Salvage the big prize. Mm-hmm. Tara! Let's get to work. <laughs> no way. Roger. Are you are you googling it? Now the volume's very low, but I know Tara strong <laughs> anywhere. And if I ha if I could reference my autographed picture of every character she ever voiced, I think I remember seeing Ricky on it. Let me IMDb this right now. <laughs> IMDb. IMDb. IMDb, baby. Do you not know that website? No, I don't. That's right. You don't watch movies or anything. Anyway, um, let's see. I'm Final so Fantasy X. Wouldn't surprise me that Tara Strong do Ricky's voice. Oh, yeah. Water battles! 
I mean, um, not see. Tara Strong did the voice of this random character who's pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so we have no idea who she is. Yeah. Overkill! Oh, I should explain that, shouldn't I? Uh, Overkill. Oh, yep, Tara Strong. Well, I <laughs> fucking know her anyway. <laughs> so, Tara Strong voice question mark, question mark, question mark. Huh? <laughs> okay, Riku's never leaving the team. <laughs> I, sw I, use I do use Riku a lot. Yeah, It's because Riku, for just normally going around, she's actually very useful. I was like 80% on board with this game. I'm no 100% on board with this game. Also, in my Final Fantasy mobile game, I got Riku, and I was like, cool, dude. I'm going to start training her. <laughs> Can I steal again? Yeah, fucking mug that fish. I already mugged it. We took everything. Give me your fucking money, fish. <laughs> Does that just make you super happy? That's, uh, I mean, well, Tara Strong just makes me so infinitely happy. I love that woman. Right, um, I forgot to stop at a save point, so we're just going to do that real quick. Okay, good. Just good. in case. Because uh, I think there's a mini boss here. Oh, no. Not a boss of the mini variety. Why'd you, why'd you go in the Meta Knight voice? <laughs> oh, no. No, it's, Good. Me, it's mini boss. Cut. That's a save point. Yes, it is. Save points heal us. Ah, it's okay, man. You just wasted the two potions that we found at the beginning of the game. True. Gotta think of things in a positive way. You're right. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rick, you can clearly swim. Yes, you can. <laughs> Uh, so I mean, there's um, one other character I mean, um, that can swim. Um, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. okay. <laughs> we, 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 we You're on the course of that joke. Okay. Do you get to choose outfits for these people? No. Oh. Yeah. So I can't keep her in her dumb trap jaw from E-Man boob belt outfit? I knew you'd love this outfit. So I much. fucking do. <laughs> like, I started out hating it, but now I, it's really grown on me. Mark, you have <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome with so many things. Like, you hated it initially, and you're like, wow, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it grew on me. Because at first, it was just, like, so stupid. But, like, the more I look at it, I'm just like, this is, like... She really does just look like a 90s superhero, though. Like, it's really fucking funny. Like, she would be on X-Force. Or she would be on... No, she's a little better than someone who would be on Youngblood. Fuck Youngblood. Youngblood's so bad. But... I mean, it's mean to pick on Youngblood, because it's, like, an easy target. But, like, there's a reason it's an easy target. Sucks. Young Blood. Young Blood. It was one of the uh, headline uh, image comics. It was like a team of like superheroes who were also like celebrities and stuff. It was an interesting enough idea, but um, it was executed very poorly and the art was bad. Ah. But um, they actually kind of like brought Young Blood back in the comics with a pretty interesting idea where there's like an Uber app for heroes. So basically, like, you need a hero, you hit that, and then a hero comes to where you are, like, if they're in the vicinity, and they do whatever you need, like, hero-wise, and then they charge your credit card. <laughs> and I'm like, that's really funny, because if superheroes were, like, if there were... Is this thing fucking the ceiling? No, I think it's just the room shaking. Okay. Because it looked like it was pulsating and, like, going up... Oh, no. Metroid Prime. Oh, no, it's that guy from earlier who punched us. Yeah. There we go. Now we get to fight for real, real. Not for play play. Yeah, girl. But so, um, so I'm going to try to take the chance to explain something real quick in game. Yeah, hey, go nuts. Um, so if you notice when I'm killing. Oh no, this is a different little octopus monster. Octopus. So when we kill some enemies, you'll notice it'll say overkill. Does that matter? Yes, it does actually. When you overkill enemies, they give you more experience towards the spear grid. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So it's. I forget exactly how overkill works. I think it's your final hit needs to do over a certain amount of damage, or you need to over kill them by yeah. Like, so just yeah, just exceptional amount of shit done. Yeah, it's basically you need to fuck them up. Yeah. What are you doing? Healing Ripley because she's low. Oh, okay. Now blow blow them the fuck up. Yes. Use that grenade under. It was not our fault. That was. God damn it, they're after your rules in this. He's like, oh fuck this. I like this guy's face. Oh look, he moved, he moved. Now he's out of range of our attacks. So, in certain battles, we'll have special commands that'll become available. What the fuck? Okay. So, in this case, we're gonna stand by. Because we can't attack him because he's too far away. 
Oh, okay. Nautilus. And he charged us because he's a dick. So you know what, Mark? We're gonna use another one of our logic to find grenades. <laughs> Good. Now, Tim, I, I have a question that you may or may not be able to ask me. Is Gilgamesh in this game? No. Gilgamesh is one of my favorite recurring bosses because sometimes it's the same Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy V because he was thrown into a, like another dimension and like he was drifting through universes for a bit and then he gets out and then he dies. But you know, well, that sucks to be him. Yeah, he was a goof. <laughs> I like Gilgamesh. Nautilus Charge! Nautilus is the best champion. I was gonna say, you fucking gank you, dude. I like Nautilus a lot. Nautilus is one of my best supports. <laughs> what a hero, that that big gold armor, man. Yeah, mug that fucking squid. Mug the fuck out of What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Jesus. Why do you keep moving away like a little bitch? Because they need to, they need to introduce this new mechanic that is used in oh. fights. So yeah, no. So one of our standby commands, we can do a pincer move. Oh, it's dove! This doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, it's really integral to the fight you're in. Grenade. Good thing she didn't miss and hit Titus. Could that happen? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if in a real life scenario. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing she can throw it like they weren't on their fucking war. <laughs> Yay, we killed Squid. So, let's go away to work. <laughs> um, so, I'll just say this. Ricky was not going to officially join our party until much later in the game. No! Why what? did they do this to me? Because we get a taste. We've gotten a taste of Arn, who's not going to join our party for a while. No, I imagine Yuna's the first party member, right? Um, no. Not really. No. Is it Waka? Is it fucking It's fucking Waka! God damn it! Stupid Waka Waka Flame coming into my house, taking Terra Strong away from me. Does anyone have, besides Yuna and Titus, is there any, like, romance in the story? Yes, actually. Oh, yeah? Yes. I swear to God, it's Waka and Riku. Is no, it? not Riku, not Riku, not Riku. I'm like, I swear to God, I I'm off the project. <laughs> Waka, yes, Riku, no. Okay. What, is he him and Lulu? Mm -hmm. Fuck? Yes. Oh, well, good for good for Waka. In 10 2, they have a baby. Aww. Yeah. Okay, Waka, you're alright now, man. If you're a cool dad, if you're a better dad than Jack, you get, you get a fucking prize. There's also some stuff with Waka that we're gonna talk about when we get to it. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine, just the initial. I just as designed it, I'm not a fan. No, and that's fine. It's, but no, like, there's some stuff that's like, uh, we're, we're gonna, when we get to it, we're gonna get to it. Yeah, and, and like anything, even if their design's not great, if the character's written well and stuff, I'll come around on almost anyone. Except for Moogles. Or Shantoto. Or what? Shantoto. Shantoto. She was from one of the online games. She's a gross little... Fucking puppy human or some shit. She speaks entirely in rhyme. Interesting. I hate her so much. And she's OP in the Dissidia games. <laughs> Fucking bitch. No, I was gonna, I was gonna say a thing. Um, um, speaking of talking in rhyme, in Spiral Year of the Dragon, there's one level where when you talk to every character in that level, they talk to you in haiku. And... I have a soft spot in my heart for haiku. It, is it done on purpose? Like, yes. It's okay. specifically this level. I know, but like, like, do they acknowledge it in game? Yes. Okay, because I thought that would just be like a weird thing the developers put in, and they're like, what if one level everyone spoke in haiku, and yeah. we just never acknowledged it? Like, one of the like, it even has like the imagery, so it's like, it's like short, long, short, That's when they wrote funny. it, and the character's like, ah, I love haiku. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't get to come in and eat dinner with them? Nope. But he did all the heavy lifting except for Riku. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hungry. They fucking made him sleep next to boxes. <laughs> they made him sleep outside. <laughs> That's fucking funny. 
Oh, yes. I just noticed Riki's wearing some sort of chastity oh. belt to keep her right vagina on. safe. Yes. And later it comes off. <laughs> what I will say is, when Riku changes outfits, they switch to, like, the really good CG for it. Oh, of course. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I'm sure they do. <laughs> Fucking creepy-ass Japanese-ass motherfucking ass. Thank you, ass, for the cutscene-ass, jerking-off-ass motherfuckers. It's because you eat too yeah. fast. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Titus. We're Titus. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Titus, but I'm. I both. think it's Titus too, but hey. Kingdom Hearts 2 didn't announce it Titus, and I'm more close to the Kingdom Hearts series, so I'm, I'm gonna call him Titus because there. that's what I've Where's called him my whole life. I don't know, Titus sounds better to me. Yeah. Whoa! You really do understand. Why are you reacting like a child? You're a grown man. Because he can't talk to anyone! <laughs> And he's on a pirate ship, and he just ate. You know what? I'm gonna give you a pass. Say so earlier. I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. We? I guess you. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. There we go. Okay, good. I'm glad that I put it together um... before Titus. <laughs> just from context. To be fair, Titus did. Anyway. True. <laughs> but to be fair, he's listening to it. You're reading Could it. You tell? It's still from context. Uh, I, I would have been able to put it together. Are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Alibaba. Zanarkin. I'm a blitzball player. Star player of the Zanarkin Abes. I Did thought it was the Zanarkin Abes. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, can I see a fucking logo <laughs> to that? Uh, no, it's just Abraham Lincoln. Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? I remember not knowing how to put on clothes. I just realized there's like fucking zippers, so like he could choose which leg has the extra so fucking pant on. Or maybe both legs had a pant and he took one off to look edgy. <laughs> I oh my god, <laughs> Titus! You're making me so mad! About how Aaron and I were engulfed in this life. Okay, so I just the fact that the enemy's that name is Sin. Is but this, then I started to wonder. It's one of my favorite things that like stuff like like fiction does, where they name Did I like the bad guy or like something opposing funny? force something that exists. So it sounds Ooh, like like oh like we're battling sin and like stuff like mm -hmm. in um Conrad or uh, X and X Urida, he uh he fights the you government of darkness, which their acronym is God. <laughs> <laughs> So he goes, so it's like, yes, I am a creature created by God, and I've come to punish you. <laughs> I'm like, you motherfuckers are doing some tongue-in-cheek shit. And it's like, we don't need God to rule this world, we can do it on our own. I'm like, okay, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's fucking great. They also have an amazing logo with the G-O-D makes a skull. And oh, it's so fucking good. I, oh, I love Conrad. <laughs> I like when things do little things like Oh, it's great. No way. Because sometimes it's done as a joke, other times it's done in a very serious manner, which comes Yeah. Up. So, like, or, or, or it's done lazily, like S-I-N. Hey, Mark, put the books on the ground. I wonder what this is here for. Uh, uh, saving? No! This is Albed Primer Volume 1. There are 26 of these in the game. Oh, so now we can read Googly Gok? We can read the letter Y. <laughs> we can read a singular letter. I'm glad that book had all information. <laughs> all the Albert primers give us an additional letter. So there's 25 letters? It's 26. 20, you said there are 25 books. 25 more. Oh, you're right. I can do math. It's okay. A you said... Yeah. I, I just say. Do you play Blitzball? Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find you know, someone you recognize. I felt like it is Luca a place. Luca? Yeah, okay. Uh. I felt like initially Titus and um, Riku had like a nice little flirtatious thing going on. Eh, they're just kind of bros. Like, I, I, I can see where there would be, like, maybe at first a little bit of romance, but they seem like the kind of people through the adventure, they'll just really be, like, close friends that, okay. like, have Give been through me. a lot together. To yeah. Promise. No, definitely. Yeah, no, she's... 
I fucking rather this stay here? outfit. Oh my god, I fucking hey, I'll love go tell the others. how Wait dumb here. it is. It's this this outfit. I, I then there's her normal outfit, and then there's her ten two bikini. Ah, because ten two, yeah, that's right, was made by a pervert apparently. You might yeah. upset someone. To be fair, she's only in the bikini in cutscenes and oh, when she's in uh -huh. thief mode. <laughs> what? <laughs> like when she goes into the thief in, mode, she so, takes clothes off? No, no, it's so in 10 2, they use this thing called the dress sphere. And the way that works is My your kid to dress some sphere? kind of holy it's place. Like, it's so you get yeah, right, additional dress spheres that are different Since roles when? that characters can play in combat. So you can make anyone be yeah. any role oh, at any given okay. point. Yeah, so like, if I want, I can go thief, 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 and we can run around place. like that. That's like in uh, Final Fantasy VI. You can um, give people different uh, jobs through the future? crystals and stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's, so like, I really I, like that because yeah. it's like, listen, I like these characters, and well, in six you only had four people at a time. In the, in ten two you only have those three. Okay, so that's cool. They literally lifted that from six, where it's like, it's we're only gonna use these three characters for the story, but like you can make any team you really want because we're gonna give you the jobs as the game progresses. Yeah. And so like, by default, Rick is a thief, Yuna is a gunslinger, and Pain is a warrior. <laughs> That's her name. Her name is Pain. We should look at Pain's character model. Pain is a fucking goth cutie. Okay, okay. Pain, Final Fantasy X-2. Okay, okay, I will 100% say Pain is a goth cutie. Okay, okay. FF-10-2. Pain. <laughs> also, we fell off a ship. I know. I, 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 can, I can look at you. I've seen that Titus face more times today than I thought I was gonna. Oh, she's fucking dope. She really oh, is. yeah, she's dope. Yeah, I saw her on the thing when we got to select between 10 and 10, too. She's cool. Did, see? You trust yeah, you know, You know, you know. She's, she's alt. She's an alt girl. 